Incredible three-point shooting helps the Pacers bounce back from a tough road trip, beating out the Minnesota Timberwolves 122 to 115. And the Timberwolves jumped out to an early lead, but by halftime, the Pacers had outscored them from the three-point line 30 to 15. The Pacers ended the night 59% from beyond the arc. Guys in different lineups, different rotations all year long. Guys been out, so. You know, we have the opportunity for each guy to step up in their shoes and to play well. And, you know, I thought K.O. did a great job in playing in uh, Domas' situation. Um, you know, Doug, Doug had his moments. <coughs> and T.J. T.J. played great, too. So, you know, if, if guys is going to be hurt, we're deep enough to, you know, next man up and we'll be all right. Carl Anthony Towns provided plenty of trouble tonight, but five Pacers ended the night in double digits, led by Bojan Bogdanovic with an astonishing season-high 37 points. 14 of those came in the fourth quarter. Well, it was difficult. Every game is difficult right now after the All-Star break because every every other team is fighting fighting for something. So we had two two tough losses. We, the, the, the games actually slipped from our hands, but uh, but tonight we, we again show how good how, how good chemistry we have and, and how, how together we are. The Pacers stay home for their next game on Saturday, March 2nd against the Orlando Magic. For Pacers.com, I'm Katie Hargett.